Hello everyone. Today in this session, we will try to discuss about the post processing of additive manufacturing parts. Uh, normally the question is why the post processing is required. Every component which has been pre prepared by using the additive manufacturing uh, is having some supporting materials to have the accuracy of the component and uh, to what we can say the main to maintain the properties of the product the uh, post processing is essential in the additive manufacturing techniques the sum of the post processing of additive manufacturing includes support material removal surface texture improvement accuracy improvement aesthetic improvement preparation for the user as a pattern and properties enhancement either using non-thermal technique and also the thermal techniques the first one support material removal as you know that most of the components what it has been pre prepared are fabricated in the additive manufacturing needs a supporting structures support materials can be broadly classified into two categories the materials which surrounds the part as a naturally occurring by product of the built process and also the rigid structure which are designed and built to support restraint or which is attached to the part being built to build as a platform which is nothing but a synthetic support the another one what we had discussed in the previous is nothing but a natural support the natural support post processing synthetic support removal and support made from the built material and support made from the secondary material these are the materials which are normally to be removed from the additive manufacturing components the schematic diagram shows the component which has been fabricated by using the additive manufacturing the component which which uh, which is being immersed in the in the raw material that it has to be removed which is nothing but a support materials even in this slide also if you if you check the some of the adi additional materials which has been stick to the component or the product that it has to be removed to enhance and to have a uh, the real look of the product surface texture improvement additive manufacturing parts have a common surface texture features that may need to be modified for the aesthetic or the performance reason the common surface textures are the stair steps or the powder addition or the filled pattern from the extrusions or a beam based systems and witnessed a mark from the support material removal. The post processing utilized for the surface structure improvement is depends upon the desired surface finish required for the component. If a matter surface finishes is desired, a simple bead blasting of the surface can help in the enhancement of the component. If the smooth or the polished surface is desired, then the wet or dry sand and uh, hand polishing is also performed. It is desirable to paint the surface to enhance the surface texture. The prior to the sanding and also the polishing, the painting the surface has a dual benefits of the sealing the porosity and by the viscous forces the smoothening the stair steps effects thus making the sanding and as well as the polishing easier and more effective the accuracy improvement as you know that most of the components normally which has been fabricated in this process is not so accurate that too especially in the uh, in the techniques which has been adopted where the support material are making a part of the component there, are, there is a wide range of accuracies capabilities in the additive manufacturing some processes are capable 
of submicron tolerance whereas other have a accuracy is around 1 mm typically the larger the model volume and the faster the building speed the worse the accuracy for a particular process preparation for the use as a pattern the parts made in the additive manufacturing are intended as a pattern for the investment castings and sand castings etc uh, the accuracy of the surface finish of the product is essential which is directly influencing on the final part accuracy and surface finish as a result a special care must be taken to enhance the pattern has the accuracy and the surface finish desired in the final part in addition to the pattern must be scaled to compensate for a any shrinkage and also the takes place in the process if you take an example of this this is nothing but something like a finger ring we if this it has to be fabricated in the metal that to uh, a mass production if it has to be that replica or the pattern it has to be prepared by using the additive manufacturing technique the same it can be used as a pattern material in the castings aesthetic improvement aesthetic improvement of the parts is a critical importance for the end application a difference in surface texture between one region and the other may be desired finishing of a selected surface only is required in case where the color of the additive manufacturing part is not of sufficient quality several methods can be used to improve the part aesthetics the another aesthetic improvement is by means of the platings this is a component which has been fabricated by using the additive manufacturing the first first component is the raw component which has been manufactured in the additive manufacturing but the aesthetic look of the component is not so good the same if it is if it is coated by means of a electroplating technique the component look will also enhances the properties enhancement using a thermal and non thermal techniques the first what we are discussing is with respect to the non thermal techniques the powder based and the extrusion based process often creates a porous structures the porous can be infiltrated by a high strength materials such as kyno cryolite which is nothing but a super glue uh, newer properties methods and the materials have been been developed to strengthen the various additive manufacturing parts one of the best known is uh, the rp tempering process the rp tempering process is a collection of the material and treated treatment operations used to increase the strength ductility and as well as the heat deflections and flammability resistance uh, emi shields and other properties of the additive manufacturing process uh, using a non composite reinforcements the properties enhancement by using a thermal techniques when you have the parts are thermally processed to enhance their properties in the beam deposition of the pbf technique for metals this thermal processing is primarily heat treated for the forms to the desired microstructure and also relative or uh, to reveal the residual stresses which has been developed in the material in the process the traditional heat treatment developers for the specific metal alloying being employed are commonly used in some cases a special heat treatment method have been developed to retain the fine grained microstructures within the additive manufacturing parts while still providing some of the stress relief and ductility enhancement is also required in the post processing process uh, the some of the other techniques normally what we are adopting in the case of the additive manufacturing is 
by means of a polishing and also a priming and also by means of the painting by adopting these type of techniques the final finish of the component can be achieved and also the look of the component will will increases which is nothing but the aesthetic appearance can also be enhanced these are the products where the electroplating is done for the additive manufacturing components see this this components it can be manufactured even by means of the casting also but by using the casting techniques the mass production it is very very difficult first the pattern preparation itself is a major problem in the case of the castings this pattern material that it can be fabricated in the additive manufacturing and that it can be used as a pattern material in the case of the casting and we can cast very easily